Visit gregvan.com for more information on construction and remodeling today. Okay, what I'm going to show you today is how to sand. Let me turn the, the fan off. Okay, you've seen the old uh, picture with a man and his wife with a pitchfork. Well, here you've got the drywall sander. What I want to show you today is how to sand the drywall, uh, the texture, I mean the uh, joint compound of the plaster that you put on. You see, I don't know if you can see, you got little bumps here. And you're going to use a sander like this. This is a pole sander. You can also get a hand sander too to sand, but the pole sander actually works better. You can get to higher spots. Um, you can cover a lot more area with a pole sander um, than you can with a hand sander. Um, you could always try this on your own or take my advice for it. Um, so let me show you how to sand this stuff here. Before that, let me show you the type of sandpaper. It's an 80 grit. Um, see if I can bring that in a little closer. It's an 80 grit sandpaper um, used just for drywall sanding. Um, and uh, you can get it at almost any lumberyard or home improvement center. And of course, it does have little tabs that uh, clamp on um, to the back of the uh, sander here. So, and the better of a job that you do plastering or applying the joint compound, the smoother that it is, the easier it's going to make for your sanding. Now I placed a fan in the window to blow as much of the dust out as I want. This dust gets all over the place. You can put tarps up, you can do whatever, or whatever you want. It's tough to keep this dust out of, um, of, the, of the house. So, okay, to sand, what I'm gonna do, there, I got rid of both of the bumps right there. You just want to both of both as fast as you want. You're just trying to trying to take off any ribs. And again, you can see the, the advantage that the pole sander has over a hand sander. You can really cover a lot more areas. You don't have to go in any direction, you know, uh, whatever, you're sanding it, you're just getting rid of all the bumps here in the, in the dips. And if you do find where you have more dips or crevices, go back and fill them in later with um, some joint compound or topping mix. So watch some more of our videos. Check out some of our other websites if you're interested in more information on home inspections, stair building, construction, foundations, roof framing, and uh, motivational and spiritual books.